Today in our 2013 Lexus CT200H, we're going to be installing Kurt's T-Connector 4-Pole Vehicle Wiring Harness, part number 56099. This vehicle wiring harness is going to provide your trailer with all the necessary lighting signals, so you'll be DOT compliant in all states. What's great about this harness is that it has its own power connector with a fuse, so if there's any faults on your trailer, it won't affect any of your vehicle wiring. It'll just open the fuse, allow you to make those repairs, reinsert a new fuse for your harness, and you're ready to get back on the road. Also included with your harness, you'll receive a dust cap, so when it's located outside the vehicle, you can keep out any dirt and debris, ensuring you have a long-lasting connection. Additionally, while it is outside the vehicle, if you're not using it, you can use the dust cap to connect it to your safety chain loop, and this will hold it up off the ground, ensuring that it stays nice and safe. When you're not using your harness, it stays inside the vehicle, you can simply wrap it up and store it in your compartment at the back of the vehicle. We'll begin our installation here at the back of the vehicle. We're going to need to remove our cargo net if it's there and our trunk floor covering. So I'm just going to flip all that back out of the way until we've got access to our lower compartment here. This will just pull up and we can set that out of the way as well. You'll then want to take off your side covers, set those aside. We're going to remove these panels here. There's a plastic nut located down in this compartment. We're going to remove that with a 16 millimeter socket. And we'll pull up and we'll set that aside. We'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Next we'll pull off our trim piece located here at the back. You'll just want to simply pull upwards to release the tabs and we'll set it aside. Now on our passenger side, we're going to remove this panel here. There's two clips here at the top. You just want to pull down on those so we can remove. To make it easier to access the connector, we're going to remove the one bolt located here for our anchor. We're using a 10 millimeter socket. Set that aside. And then we can peel our paneling back and get to our connector located up here. Your taillight connector is going to be located right here. I'm going to use a trim panel remover tool to pop that connector out of its mounting location. You can also use a screwdriver to do this. Now we can flip it over to this side and you'll push in on the release tab here and separate the connector. We'll then take our new harness, we're going to plug that in line with the original. And then we'll reinstall our harness into its bracket. We'll then hook up our ground wire, that's the white wire with the ring terminal on it. We're going to hook that straight to the negative post on our battery here. We'll loosen that with a 10 millimeter socket. Slide your ring terminal on and then reinstall the nut. And we'll tighten it back down. Next we'll remove our battery positive post cover. And we will connect our battery positive terminal onto that post. Underneath the cover, you'll find a stud facing upright. We're going to remove the nut on top of that stud with a 12 millimeter socket. We'll take our battery positive terminal. We're going to slide that over the stud and then reinstall the nut. And then we'll tighten it back down. We'll then use some alcohol to clean off the location we'll be sticking our module. This will just ensure that we have a good clean surface area. We're going to peel off one side, stick that to our module. We'll peel off the other side and then we'll stick our module in the location that we cleaned off. You just want to hold that there for about 20 seconds to ensure that it has good adhesion. We'll now run our yellow wire across to the other side. We'll need to take the anchor out on this side using our 10 millimeter socket. So we can pull this back so you can get access to the connector on this side. We'll disconnect it just like we did on the other side. Plug our yellow harness in line with it. 
and then we can zip tie everything up. We can now install the fuse into our fuse harness. We're now going to plug in our tester and verify it's working properly. You can pick up testers like this here at eTrailer.com. If you don't have one, you can just plug your trailer in. You want to make sure you have your left turn signal, right turn signal, tail lamps, and brake lamps. And with all of our panels back in place, we're ready to hook up our trailer and hit the road. And that completes our installation of Kurt's T-Connector 4-Pole wiring harness on our 2013 Lexus CT200H.